This is a video demo for my uh, mid-60s audio guild, um, also known Universal or, or um, Pana. Anyway, I don't know the model number, but it's cool. Well, it's got a 12 and an 8. Um, has the pitch shifting vibrato, and I'll go through all the things real quick, try to make this fast. So uh, you have several channels. You have a high gain channel 1, low gain channel 1, dual input. You have high gain channel 2, low gain channel 2. And on a dual input, you have a selector. So right now, we're in high gain channel one. And everything's uh, just set flat, so everything's at zero. Actually, it would be four, but it says zero on there. It does a clean sound really well. On this channel one, you also have reverb, so we'll take it up to four. It's got a pretty long pan inside the chassis, so I mean, it's a, uh, it's got quite a bit. It, uh, it can get washed out real quick. That's, uh, that's reverb all the way up. Um, you have vibrato, like I was talking about. Here's the intensity about halfway, speed at 75% or so. percent speed down to four Here it starts, it's got a negative four and a plus four on the bass. So. Um, and then, of course, the treble, same way. Um, all the knobs have been cleaned, all the jacks have been cleaned. Uh, and then you have an ultra flex balance, which, uh, the way I've heard it, this is a true stereo output has two separate output transformers so you've got a 12 inch here and then you've got an 8 inch here the 12 inch handles the basin so if you take the ultra flex down to the basin I'll just max it out let me take the treble to the right that flat so I think it, it splits the difference and it heads everything to the 12 inch but the 12 inch only literally puts out like a dark signal on my telly, on the on the on the bridge, so it does get a little bit muffly. Um, and then again, you can take it just to the treble, and that's mostly going to be on just the eight there. Um, let's try the dual input. So, uh, from reading on the forums, um, on the dual input, you can go in halfway. And that, that gives both, um, or you can go all the way in, and I don't know, something different. It does do something different, though. It will only go in halfway, like right now, um, and you still have a selector switch of like which one you're going to use. I think that's probably, that's probably a mixture of both, I guess. That's channel one. That's channel one. Here's channel one. This is channel two. dry channel it has no vibrato it has no vibrato or reverb um, all you have is tone control so you can you can bass it or treble it out uh, and then when you put on this switch here I believe uh, on this channel you can use
just know also the eight inch I believe is blown. This amp gets kind of like clean marshally when cranked. Um, and I think I blew the eight inch speaker. So it's eight inch uh, four ohm that will need to be replaced. I took the Utah out and put a new um, Jensen C12 in there just cause it has, the Utah just seems a little tired, but uh, I will include it in the sale. <laughs> quad um, all original RCAs except for one that was bad uh, 12x7 and then I think there's like a uh, there's a um, phase inverter tube 6 8 uh, GHB or something so <laughs> Manufacturing filter cap can. I usually do F and T's, but it's so tight in there that I had to do the, the capacitor can. Uh, the bias, uh, the bias capacitors have been um, on the bias circuit have been uh, changed. They were a little bit out of spec, and uh, yeah, it's just a cool, groovy old amp. So uh, send me some messages if uh, if you have any questions. Thanks.